Hey guys, uh, in this video we'll be looking at uh, the solution to question 2C on the January 2013 uh, CSEC math pass paper solutions. Uh, this is a typical algebra question. Here it states, uh, a candy store packages lollipops and toffees in bags for sale. And here I drew some pictures of my lollipops and toffee. Uh, I'm not a very good artist, so please don't judge me now, all right? Good. Here, uh, X represents the grams for lollipops and Y grams for the toffees. Now, they gave us some very important notes. They said that 5 lollipops and 12 toffees have a mass of 61 grams. 10 lollipops and 13 toffees have a mass of 89 grams. Now, in part 1, they have it stated here, if the mass of one lollipop is X grams, which they stated before, and the mass of one toffee is y grams, which they have stated over here. They're asking us to write two equations in x and y to represent the above information, and that's an easy two marks, okay? So let's just quickly look at that. Let's just write our equations. Now, for part one, where they're asking us to write the equation, okay? Uh, this is pretty straightforward, pretty simple, okay? If you notice, um, they gave it to us here. They said that five lollipops, and I'm underlining that, okay? Now, lollipops, X represents lollipops. So that's basically what they're saying there. That's five X, okay? Let me just change that. That's five X, okay? Now, if you notice here, my friends, they have placed the word and here. Now, when you see and in math, it and means to add, okay? So that's a plus. And then they have stated 12 toffees. Now, remember, toffees is Y, so I'm going to replace the word toffees with Y, so that's 12Y, okay? And if you notice, they said that both have a mass, the sum of that have a mass of 61. So all of that must be equal to, must be equal to 61, okay? It's pretty much like that. Now, in the second sentence, they have it here, 10 lollipops. So 10 lollipops would simply suggest that they're speaking about 10x, okay, since x represents lollipops and, again, means to add. So I'm going to have a plus, plus my 13 toffees. And y is for toffees, so I'm going to have a 13y, and that must be equal to 89 which is the 89 that they have out here. Okay, my friends? So do, there we have our two equations, 5x plus 12y is equal to 61, and 10x plus 13y is equal to 89. Okay, hope that you're seeing that. So that's an easy two marks. Now in part two, they're asking us to calculate the mass of one lollipop, and in part, that's in part A, and in part B, one toffee. And that's another easy four marks. Now, if you notice, my friends, here we have a pair of simultaneous equations. So basically, what we're going to do from here is to solve the pair of simultaneous equations to get corresponding values for X and Y. Okay, so quickly, let's just get into that. Here I have, and that's for part one, so for part two now, my friends, I'm just simply going to solve our equations, okay? So here we have a 5x, we have a 5x plus 12y, 12y is equal to 61, okay? And a 10x, 10x plus 13y is equal to 89, okay? Now, the first equation, I'm going to label that my equation 1, okay? That's equation 1. And the second equation, I'm going to label that equation 2, okay? Now, uh, there are two simple ways of solving sim a pair of simultaneous equations. We could solve it by substitution or we could solve it by elimination. Elimination to me is much quicker, so I'm just going to use that method, okay? You could use any one in the exam, all right? Um, if you're not sure, you could check out our web. If you're not sure about solving simultaneous equation, you could check out our website at willedutech.com and you have a lot of examples there, okay, my friends? Now, basically, in solving for in solving for x or y um, by the process of elimination, okay, when you're solving a pair of simultaneous equation by elimination, you choose which letter you want to eliminate, okay? That option is yours, okay? Now, we have x's and we have y's. I am going to choose to eliminate the x's, okay? But you could also choose to eliminate the y. It doesn't really matter, all right? So, in Eliminating the x's, um, how you go about this? Basically, what you're doing, my friends, since we're getting rid of the x, that's what the word eliminate, elimination means, I am going to use the 5, that is multiplying the x in equation 1, to multiply my equation 2, okay? 
and I'm going to do the opposite of that. The 10 that is multiplying the x down here in equation 2 to multiply my equation 1, okay? So basically, um, when doing that now, my friends, I'm going to say 10 times 5x, that will give me a 50x, okay? So I'm going to write my 50x here, okay? And then I'm going to say 10 times 12, that will give me a 120y, okay? And this is equal to 10 times 61, and that will give me 610, okay? Now, I'm just simply going to label this my equation, equation 3, okay? And likewise, down here, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to say 5 times 10, that will give me another 50x, okay? And then here now, I'm going to have a plus. Uh, 5 times 13, that should give me a 65y, okay? 60 5y and that should be equal to 5 times 89 that should give me 445 okay that's 445 and I'm going to label this my equation number four okay now this is the important part this is the interesting part after you have gotten your equations three and four we're simply my friends going to we're going to subtract I'm going to subtract my, I'm just going to put this in a bracket, okay, so that you can see clearly. I'm going to bracket all of that, and I'm going to subtract my equation 4 from my equation 3, okay? Now, if you notice, the coefficient or the number that is multiplying x is a 50x there and a 50x there. That's what we wanted, okay? So we can eliminate now. So if you notice, when a negative sign is in front of a bracket, it simply means you're going to change the sign on every term inside the brackets, okay, inside the bracket. Now, I have a positive 50x here, so this now automatically becomes a negative 50x because of the negative sign in front of the bracket. So 50 minus 50, that will leave me with nothing, okay? So my x's are eliminated, okay? Now, I have a positive 65 y in the bracket so uh, this is going to become now a negative 65 because of the negative sign in front of the bracket so I'm going to say 120 minus 65 that will leave us with a 55 y okay my friends and that is equal to and if you notice over here I have a positive 445 inside the bracket now because of the negative sign it's going to become a negative 445 so I'm going to basically say 610 minus 445 and that will leave me with a positive 165 okay hope you're seeing that now from here on my friends it's, it's basically easy um, here we have a simple equation we have 55 y is equal to 165 so since 55 is multiplying the y we're just simply going to solve for y by doing the opposite of multiplication which is to divide through by 55 so when I divide both sides of my equation by 55 55 into itself goes once 55 into itself that will cancel out so I'm left with y is equal to 55 into itself once there and 55 into 165 that will go three times okay so y is equal to three so there we have it my friends we have found the solution for y now we need to uh, substitute the value for y into our simplest equation now and solve for x so now I'm just going to make a note okay my friends there's a little important note that I've just made that now we're going to simply substitute what we got for y, which is 3. So substitute y into y equal 3 into equation 1. And I chose equation 1 because it's the simplest equation, okay? I'll cho always choose the simplest equation. Now, equation 1 states that 5x plus 12 plus 12 y is equal to 61. So wherever I see y, I'm going to replace it with 3, okay? So this is saying 5x plus 12 multiply by 3 is equal to 61 okay my friends now we know that this is going to work out to be 5x here okay and 12 times 3 that's 36 so we're going to have a 36 is equal to 61 okay now we need to if you notice we need to make x the subject so we need to move all the numbers to the right side and leave the x alone over here 36 is is adding to 5x so i'm going to subtract 36 from both sides so i'm going to say 5x plus 36 minus 36 
is equal to 61 minus 36 okay now my friends these two 36 minus 36 these two will cancel out so we are left with over here 5x is equal to 61 minus 36 that will leave us with a 25 okay and it's pretty simple from here I'm just simply going to divide through by 5 since 5 is multiplying x when we divide through by 5 okay we have x is equal to uh, 5 okay my friends so we have the values for y which is 3 and the values for x which is 5 however they have stated in the question part 2 here to calculate the mass of one lollipop and one toffee four marks now what you need to do you need to make since that's things since this is a worded problem we're going to have to present our answers in words okay my friends so just let's let's just pull this down a bit so we can have a little bit more space to state our answers okay so here we go for part a for the answer for part a i am going to simply state that one for a the mass of one lollipop is five grams okay that's my answer and also for B, I'm going to say the mass of one toffee is three grams. Okay. And I got those values from my answers when I solve for X and Y. Okay. So it's pretty much that easy. Uh, feel free to leave a comment or ask a question at willedutech.com and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Okay. Bye bye.